Okay, guys, so this is a bit of a different card. I bet you haven't seen this guy for a long time. I feel like I haven't heard of Mobamba since that song came out. Um, but yeah, we got a Mobamba card today. Uh, so we're going to be looking at this card, uh, just having a bit of a, as we normally do, just having a look over his statistics, uh, a bit of a shoot around, as well as his gameplay, uh, and then going over and doing, doing the overview of the card. So he's a center slash power forward. He is going up in price. Now, the market was a little bit low this morning when I first got on. I uh, snagged that uh, Ray Allen card that I have a video up if you want to watch that, the link be in the description uh, but if you yeah so I got that card for about 5k uh, and now this one I got for about I think it was about 6 7k I couldn't get in much cheaper than that uh, the market is starting to rise a little bit I think it was because that big promo pack was out with all the galaxy opals all the diamonds all the pink diamonds uh, that, that came out so that really threw uh, the market off and made a lot of cards pretty much <laughs> worthless uh, but yeah so so the market's starting to pick up again so you might be a little bit more expensive I can see this card settling around the 10k mark uh, but 10k still depending on how he plays shouldn't be too bad so let's have a look so he's a 91 offense and a 95 defense he is seven foot tall uh, so that's the first big thing he is a uh, seven foot a center which is what you need now you can't have a center smaller than seven foot really um, so he's 21 years old, for one year pro. So his driving lap's an 84, post fade is 90, which is really good. Post hook's an 89, eh, a bit of a useless stat. Post moves a 69. Really? A 69 post move, okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> his draw foul is 80, his close shot is a 90, his mid range shot is an 89, his three point shot is an 89, that's not a good sign when your three point shot and your mid range shot is actually the exact same. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> either way, they're both pretty good statistics. So the free throw is an 85, the standing dunks are 90, the driving dunks are 70, the ball handling is 69, <laughs> the pass IQ is a 51, and then a pass accuracy is a 35. Now this is defense, hopefully it should rain a little bit better. Uh, his blocks are 90, uh, 98, he's got huge wingspan, this guy, I know that for sure. Uh, his steals is a 41, perimeter defense 78, but his interiors are 92. Uh, roof deep rebounding is 90 uh, for offensive and defensive 94 he's a 90 speed so he's really quick actually his speed with ball drops but I think he's going to have a pretty good quick first step uh, being in that 90 speed which is good vertical his strength is a 60 what <laughs> this card this card is very strange very strange stamina is a 95 his hustle is a 90 Wow, and there's his um, passing uh, there, and obviously, if you're interested in that. Wow, so the first thing that's speaking out to me is he's fast, but weak. <laughs> For a 7-foot center, I'm surprised he's that weak. Um, his 3-point shot's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> here's his shot tendencies if you're interested in that. And uh, his system proficiencies, his body health. He is uh, still gra skill graphics and now he's grading. So he's A plus center scorer, A plus mid range, A plus three point, which is actually quite good for a center. Uh, D minus playmaking, perimeter defense is a B plus, a post uh, defense is an A, rebound is an A plus, athleticism is a B plus, uh, basketball IQ is a B minus, potential A, A. So his badges, he has 17 Hall of Fames, which is good. Catch and shoot, uh, corner specialist, quick draw. Pick and popper, green machine, flexible release, pick and roll, put back boss, tireless defender, lob city finisher, rim protector, chase down artist, post move lockdown, pogo stick, rebounding chaser, heart crusher, intimidator. Okay, so looking at this, especially the first couple badges, <laughs> I would honestly not be surprised if this was a shooting guard card just by seeing the or catch and shoot, corner specialist, quick draw. Uh, awesome badges to have, especially on a seven footer, but. I don't know. To me, this card already, I haven't played with him yet, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I, I get the vibe. He's a Thon Maker. He's exactly the same as that Ruby Thon Maker card, except a little bit worse. Um, and when I say a little bit, I mean his strength being a 60 is insane. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at this card, have a bit of a shoot around with him, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we have the Mobumba card. Okay, he does feel slow. His arms are long as, as you can see.
So I think he's going to be, uh, other than <laughs> what his statistics tell you. But I think this card might be a good... Ooh. Okay. Don't talk to him. I don't know. I think this card might be okay. That's a good shot there. But I don't know. Let's have a feel. He is quick. Like, he feels pretty quick without the ball. Uh, obviously, that drops. Oh, wow. Jeez, okay. This Mobamba card actually feels okay. Let's have a look at his hot zones. So, it is very kind of spread. And I, I have been saying that they're cold spots here. These ones are cold spots uh, in my previous videos. And I do apologize because they aren't cold spots. They're just, um, they're just neutral zones. So, he can hit just as good. But... There's a high chance he'll hit from these areas, so... I don't know. Overall, his shot feels pretty easy to time, as I've missed <laughs> a lot of them in a row. <laughs> yeah, his shot feels pretty easy to time. He feels pretty quick without the ball. Uh, him being 7 foot is obviously going to be a huge advantage. Um, but I don't know. Overall, I just feel like this card... It has potential, but as I said at the at the the looking over the card, I just feel like it's a, it's a worse Rubython maker. Uh, if you're looking for a budget card and this card price drops a little bit, uh, I'd obviously pick him up because he actually is playing. Wow, he almost hasn't missed a shot for a while, but um, I would probably pick him up just because he feels pretty good. But let's set, let's check out his gameplay before we jump into too much of a conclusion. But overall, the card feels pretty good to me, uh, so I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, green dandit. it. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. So he's up against... Uh, oh my god, I've totally forgotten his name. Okay, big steal. He's going to see if what his post-up's like. Oh, man. Oh, no. He feels weak to play with. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just still getting used to him. But t I feel like for this card to be what it should be, it needs to be played like a shooting guard. <laughs> or like a small forward. Um, kind of like popping shots, hitting... Oh, I don't know. I don't see this guy being very good in the paint. So if you're up against like a Shaq, or a... I don't even know really anyone. But he'll hit those. He'll hit those. But if you're up against like a Shaq or a big man that is pretty confident in the paint and will be able to post up really anybody, I think he's going to struggle, uh, which worries me. Um, obviously, he's got... He's got like to be up against the likes of uh, that Ruby Thon maker for budget centers, you know. Even Miles um, Turner. That, that Amethyst Miles Turner, I feel like it's a pretty good budget card. Um... So he has the likes of those guys that he has to be better than. Um, but his ability to play center power forward, wow. And his long limbs, he has really long arms, slender man-like arms. Um, but I don't know. He feels good to play with, he feels quick, uh, which is a positive, obviously. But that strength, that 60 strength is just turning me off. It's just really worrying me in regards to this. I'm just shit at defense. Great. Yeah, but I don't know. That's 60 strength is what's really concerning me. Like, let's get him in a post-up situation. He can barely... Yeah, he's just not winning, though. He's not going to win a post-up situation like that. But long, long limbs like that is going to make him very good at blocking shots, as we've seen. Uh, and also that Hall of Fame Intimidator always is going to help. But I don't know. This card hasn't sold me. Hasn't sold me yet. Let's just see if it does something. Great steal. His big slender body jumping out of here. See, he grabs that. But see, right there, you you grab that. And he's just, he's getting out muscled. Let's see from distance. 
See, a center, a seven foot center, I feel like that should be airballing, basically, yes. See, that's crazy to me. I have a Clay Thompson card, that, that Pink Diamond Clay Thompson card, the reward card, the collection card you get, and I feel like he's a better shooter than this card. I mean, like, Mo Bamba's a better shooter than that. Wow, great steal. See, his gameplay isn't bad. I'm making, like, he's doing good clips, getting steals, getting blocks. He's doing what a card needs to do, getting cool three-point shots, you know. Getting rebounds. <laughs> but, I don't know. I haven't, I've put, I'm putting this in a realistic standpoint of if I'm going into, if I'm a budget player or if I'm a competitive player, is he making my team? And both of them at the moment are saying no. Maybe off the bench for a budget player? I don't know. I don't... He has... See, but he's also able to do stuff like this. <laughs> so it's like, yes, he's... Ah, uh, it's tricky. It's tricky. I'm happy to hear what you guys think. If you want to drop a comment, us just giving me your overall thoughts and opinions on what this card's like. I just don't think... As a big man, you should have 60 strength. If 2k up that and give him what he should have... <laughs> then he'd be a dangerous card. One of the best centers in the game. But it's just that 60 strength that's just holding this card back from doing anything special. Because all I'm thinking about, that Amethyst Shack, that I think the locker code that you can get is still active for, for free, I'd like to add, is going to destroy this Mobamba in the paint physically. Defensively, on the perimeter, Shaq won't stand a chance because he'll be able to pop these threes. But overall, come on, shoot that shit. Don't, don't surprise me that missed. But overall, I just feel, let's hit a three to win it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to have a bit of a sit down think about this card because I'm not 100% sure. After hitting that three just then, it's like, <laughs> let me think. I'll get back to you. All right, so as we can see, I'm a bit torn between this Mobamba card. Is he good? Yes. Can he hit threes like Steph Curry? Surprisingly, yes. Is he seven foot tall? Yes. Does he have large wingspan? Yes. These are all good things, but he is weak. I hate to keep bringing it up, but he is a weak card. Uh, overall, I think... Uh, he might be worth it in the long run. If you're a budget squad, you can pick him up for about 8k, uh, maybe 7k. Uh, I would probably pick him up. Um, but I just don't see anyone who has a team or is happy to spend not that much, but just a little bit on this game. I just can't see them picking this card up. I can't see him being a main priority to pick up purely because of that 60 strength. You give him uh, the ability to do a bit of a post, post up move and you give him some strength, maybe he's a good card. Then I... Uh, well, not maybe. He's definitely a good card. Um, but at the moment, he just doesn't have what it takes to to make a, an actual team that, let's say I, myself, who spends money on this game, uh, would. But if you're a budget squad who doesn't like spending money on the game, don't. I would definitely pick this card up. I think off the bench, I feel like he'd be a good squad. If you, you're down and you need <laughs> you know, the final shot to be taken, have him on the field because then every single person... Or, you know, have your best three-pointing team on you on the field. He'll probably be there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think he's a good card, but his strength is letting him down a little bit. So, uh, but that's all for me today. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate the love that you guys are putting on the videos lately. Uh, if you could drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.